Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Big Beer Pawpaw Plyboy's Playhouse, the channel where we try to give you at least a bare minimum of content to be considered an active channel. You're welcome. Uh, brought you out in the yard today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot the first rounds through the Cimarron El Milo Two. Might remember it from several months back. I'll be honest with you, I can't remember how many months back it was. 45 Colt, uh, of course. Three and a half inch Farby Octagon, but I don't care if the Octagon's completely historically accurate on this. Of course, the grip frame wouldn't be there. Still a very nice gun, in my opinion. Don't know if I can hit with it, but we're gonna try. If I can avoid fire ant beds here, I realized after I set the camera up, I set myself up for some really fun stuff, but might be just get to be a bonus on top of watching me miss. Let's see, one hand or two hands? Guess it don't matter much. That, you know, even with my little factory load, I mean factory load, my little hand load, three and a half barrel, three and a half inch barrel bounces a little bit. I can almost hit the target with a barrel, and, and I'm missing. That ejector rod sure ain't too long on this one, is it? Eh, just spit them out once you get the once you get the feel for it. Let's see. Put the empty holes in my whiskey pocket. I'm not gonna shoot many rounds. I had that five in the gun for a long time. I brought five more. Maybe six, let's see. Yeah, brought six. Hey. Um, same reload I went to town with a little while ago. I had in my pocket for for this gun. Because I carry single actions. And hoping I don't have to shoot a, a plate at 10 yards. I think I see what I'm doing. Act like I need what I'm doing. Huh. Interesting. It's all going into a very small area. It's just the wrong area. That's why you shouldn't do first shots of any gun on camera. Y'all have seen me do it enough. You know I'm going to goof up. Hell with it. One more. Any chance in the world of figuring out where this is hitting? Instead of just getting lucky a few times. You know, it's hitting just a hair low and left. Not bad. As close as it is, it's not bothering me that much. All of those shots would have been me do this and then I'll tell you. Every one of those shots would have been, if it had been a silhouette target, would have been in a space right about here with me just flying through it, not really taking my time to, to get a good sight picture. But the gun is capable more. I've got a bunch of bullets that are uh, strikes on that plate that are right on top of each other, almost on top of each other. Two or three of them, four of them actually are touching. But that's what happens when you don't shoot a lot. But any of those, if that had been, like I said, a silhouette target at this distance, every one of those would have struck the target, the silhouette target, just not in that spot that big around. Not making excuses. Those were clean misses. A few of those were clean misses. Y'all heard it. Anyway, Pop All Plowboy's Playhouse. Got a lot of grandkids. Hoping my grand oldest granddaughter or two sees that and appreciates it. But anyway, uh, 
I'll be glad to get out here before too long and shoot something else. I still have several guns that I have got this year. 629, the uh, shoot that little uh, Star 605. I've got the that Indian Territory carbine 45 coat, and there's probably three or four more. Excuse me, that I've got this year that I ain't shot. This one gets checked off the list today, and. You know, I know that y'all probably remember seeing this a couple of videos, a few, several videos back. And this is really a, a great feeling little gun, you know, in the hand as far as... I, I don't like that hammer for cocking like this because it's, it's biting into my hand right there. But now for one-handed cocking, yeah, that's just what the doctor ordered. That's, that's better than a hot buttered Pop-Tart and a cold beer at 5 a.m., which the only thing better than that is a good shot of a sip of whiskey in the deer woods before the sun comes up. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Appreciate y'all watching. Talk to you later.